Yeah, we've had uh, a lot of numbers in the weight room, and I think that's been the biggest factor for us this year. Everybody's in there putting in the work. You know, we've had some rough practices here and there, but you know, we have a great receiver group and a veteran O-line, and I think we can do great things this year and pretty tough defense, too. Yeah, uh, we have, you know, a lot of the guys, everybody knows the plays, so it makes it easier, you know, right off the rip, just being able to run our plays and not have to worry about reinstalling stuff. But I think at the same time, you know, the league's open to anybody, so we really got to work and make sure we do things the right way. Yeah, I think uh, just everybody got to stay healthy, you know, everybody stays healthy, does their work, you know, takes extra time to study film. And I think, you know, it's open to anybody who really wants it. Well, we've been really happy. We, we bring a lot of uh, uh, excitement and uh, um, a, a lot of competition into camp here uh, as we enter two-a-days. Um, we've had really good turnout uh, throughout our summer workouts and our July camp days and our seven-on-sevens, and, and uh, that uh, momentum continues here in the early part of uh, two-a-days. Yeah, as you mentioned, we bring a lot of experience back on offense, so we want to go over to Pleasant uh, tomorrow and and hopefully get off to a good start, be really crisp uh, in our time, in timing and assignments tomorrow offensively. Uh, I think the big uh, challenge for us is we've made some adjustments defensively. We're looking at a new defensive look uh, j and just see how well we play defense and, and how, how well the kids know their assignments, uh, their alignments and their fits and, and uh, you know how well overall we're going to play defense. I think that's the one thing we're, we're pretty anxious to see. Well, I mean, I think we're right there in the hunt. Um, there's there's a lot of talent this year in the KMAC. Uh, just off the top of my head, I mean, Danville has a tremendous amount of uh, talent coming back. Uh, you know, you got to assume that East Knox is going to be good. They they did lose a lot of kids, but you know, you know, they've got a lot of momentum over the last. They built a lot of momentum over the last few years. Uh, Northmore has some talent coming back. Uh, really, from top to bottom, the league is going to be very competitive. There's a lot of really talented seniors uh, throughout the the uh, league so from one week to the next it's really going to be a challenge but we feel that if we can execute and as you said build on a little bit of the success that we started to see uh, last year that we can have a really solid year and hopefully compete for that championship. Yeah I mean I think what you find here in this town is just a classic example of a small midwestern town that really gets excited about Friday nights and and you know it's an entire community event uh, the kids are really bought in I got a great group of coaches uh, to work with. Many of them played here at Frederick Town. Um, you know, I'm enter entering my 21st year uh, with the program, so uh, I've seen a lot of ups and downs. I've seen a lot of great memories out there, and and I just want to ho hopefully add to that uh, this year. As I said, there's just a lot of there's a lot of anticipation, a lot of excitement for this year.